Hey guys, do you think this rubber ducky is going to sink or float? I think it's going to float. Whoa, it's floating. Whee! Good job, Ryan. Now what about this mallet? Whoa. Do you think it's going to sink or float? I think it's going to sink. Let's see. It sank. Good job. But mommy, why do you think sink or float? Good question, Ryan. I'll show you. Come on, guys. Where'd mommy go? Welcome to Ryan's world. Did you know an object's ability to sink or float is called buoyancy? But why does an object sink or float? Object will sink if they're more dense than water. An object will float if they're less dense than water. So let's try putting these objects in water to see which one will sink and which one will float. Let's see what we have here. Squishy, some diamond jewels, and a basketball. I should get that back. Come back. This squishy toy feels light, but let's see if it'll float in water. All right. One, two, three. <gasps> wow! The squishy toy float in water. So what does that mean? It's less dense than water. Yay! Woohoo! Okay, let's see what we have next. Next, we have these stones. So colorful. Woohoo! Ah! So bright. They're smaller than the squishy toys. Do you guys think it'll float in water? But they're heavier. Does that make a difference? <gasps> Let's see. One, two, three. Oh no! <gasps> wow, so what does this mean? These stones are more dense than water. Look, they sink all the way to the bottom. Next, we have a basketball. Look, it bounces. It's, uh, it's heavier than the squishy toy. And it's bigger than the squishy toy. Do you guys think this will float or sink in water? All right, let's test it out. One, two, three. Oh. Whoa, what did you guys notice? It floats in water. What does that mean? It's less dense than water even though it's bigger and heavier than the squishy toy. They both float! So why does the basketball float? Well, it's hollow and empty inside, and it's full of air. And air is less dense than water, so it helps the basketball float! woo I have an idea, let's go grab a whole bunch of other stuff to try. Be right back! Whoa. whole bunch of stuff for us to try, okay? So remember, an object will sink if the density is greater than water, and an object will float if the density is less than water. So let's see. Mr. Shark, you wanna give it a try? It's not a real shark, it's a toy shark. Sink or float, let's see. Are you greater than water for density or less? Wow! Must have a lot of air inside. Do you guys remember these? Fidget spinners! Sink or float? Let's test it out. One, two, three. <gasps> they sink! <gasps> so what does that mean? The density of fidget spinner is greater than water. Next, scissors. So this is a plastic scissor, but we're gonna see if it sinks or float in water. You ready? One, two, three. <gasps> it floats. Did you guys guess that right? So these are less dense than water. Okay. Whoopee cushion. Okay. All right. Sink or float? What do you guys think? One, two, three. Also floats. 
who likes to play American football. Hut, hut, pew! Sink or float, one, two, three. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be right back. <laughs> Obviously no, not good at American football. One, two, three, hut, hut, catch! Yay! Also float, wow! So far we're doing great. But here's a tricky one. Paper clip. Sink or float? Let's see. One, two, three. Move away, whoopee cushion. Wee. So what's happening? <gasps> they all sink. That means the paper clip's density is greater than water. Okay, what's next? This is so fun. What about the giant glasses? These sink or float. Any guesses? <gasps> All right, bye bye glasses. One, two, three. Oh, is it gonna sink or is it gonna float? Oh, it's hovering, it's hovering. Oh, what do you guys think? I think it's pretty close to water's density. That's why it's right there in between sinking and floating. So, since you guys didn't ask, what is the density of water? It is. The density of water is one gram per milliliter. So anytime an object's density is greater than one gram per milliliter, it sinks. Anytime an object's density is less than one gram per milliliter, it floats. Um, what else? Trumpet! Sink or float. Don't forget there's lots of air inside here, lots of holes. And it's pretty plasticky. One, two, three. Float. All right. Lobster. You guys like lobster? Hey, Mr. Lobster. Do you sink or float in water? Well, I am a lobster, so I think I'm going to sink. Oh, okay. Let's see if it's true. He thinks he's going to sink. What do you guys think? One, two, three. likes water, huh? So what does that mean? His density is greater than water! <gasps> okay, we're gonna clear off the tank because I have a super fun experiment. Diet Coke versus regular Coke. Which one will sink and which one will stay afloat? All right, let's put it into the water. Wait, okay? Something cool is gonna happen. <gasps> wow, look what you guys noticed! That Diet Coke float and that regular Coke sink. So what does this mean? The Diet Coke is less dense than water. But the regular Coke, oh, where are you regular Coke? There you are. It's more dense than water. Do you know why? Because this actually has lots and lots and lots of sugar inside. So the sugar is more dense than water, so it sink the Coke. And the Diet Coke actually has less than one gram of sugar, so mostly just water and air inside, so it floats. Wow! Excuse me, Miss Ryan's mom. Yes, Peck. I'm doing some homework on buoyancy, and I'm trying to understand how these giant cruise ships are able to float in the ocean. That's a good question, Peck. Those cruise ships can float in water because it's hollow, like this basketball. It's full of air. <laughs> it's hollow and full of air. Got it. But that's not all, Peck. It's because also the shape of the cruise ship. <gasps> I have an idea. Let's do one more experiment. Oh, joy! Another experiment? I love experiments! <laughs> Let's go! Did you know that ship is shaped so that most of it is above water? That way, it doesn't displace too much water! Displace? Yeah! <gasps> Let's try this. I'm going to put ice, oh, it's cold, oh, in this cup that is full of water and see what happens. Guess ready? 
Oh, it's so cold. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. The water spilled everywhere. Yeah, so when we put the ice in a cup of water that's already filled, the water spills out, right? So when an object pushes water out of the way, this is called displacement. Yeah, so this is why ship don't sink. They are hollow like the basketball and full of air and they're shaped so that they don't displace too much water. That's right. Oh joy, I can finish my homework now. Thank you, Miss Ryan's mom. See you later. You're welcome, Peck. Bye. So I think that now we're an expert on objects sinking or floating in water. <gasps> Let's try a pop quiz. Let's go. Question number one. <gasps> what is buoyancy? A, an object's ability to sink or float, or is it B, buoyancy is a buoyant, <laughs> or is it C, is buoyancy a cheeseburger? Mm. Any guesses? <gasps> the answer is A, buoyancy is an object's to sink oh no, or float. Yay! All right, guys, let's move on to question number two. Why does object sink? Is it because A, they're blue, all object that is blue float, or is it B, they like to swim? Or is it C, they are more dense so what's the answer? Why do objects sink? It's because C, they are more dense than water. Question number three. Why do ships float? Is it because A, they're hollow, full of air, and the shape doesn't displace too much water? Or is it because B, they are made of squishy fruit? Or is it because of C, they are hungry. Do you know the answer? Why do ships float? It's because of A. Ships float because they are hollow, full of air, and their shape doesn't displace too much water. So, how did you guys do on the quiz? And I guess we tried. You can try again next time. And now that we learned so much about how objects are able to sink, showing me all about what sinks and floats, Mommy. Of course. Now, final question for you, Ryan. <gasps> will this ball sink or float? It will float. Okay, let's see if Ryan's right. Yay! Good job. Now, does that mean this ball is less dense than water or more dense than water? Less dense. Yay! Thank you for watching our sink and float video. Bye. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye.